over recent weeks, we've become used to hearing a lot of bad news from the Transport Minister, so it is a relief to hear positive news today. It is welcome that the Caledonian Sleeper Service is to be publicly run from June, and I want to praise the efforts of the RMT, ASLEF, UNITE and the TSSA, who have been instrumental in making the case for public ownership. We do fundamentally disagree, though, with the Minister on the decision to split ScotRail and sleeper franchises. It was wrong in 2015 when the SNP made that decision, and it remains wrong to split those services now. Does the Minister not see the benefits of a unified ScotRail operator delivering both when she says she is concerned about fragmentation and current structures are already overly bureaucratic? Does the Minister not accept that cross-subsidy is another reason why we need one unified ScotRail operator to make the service more affordable? And finally, it can cost over £500 for a family of four for a return from Glasgow to London, and that's with a family rail card. It is ridiculously expensive for people and for businesses too. It surpasses any other rail service when it comes to fares. So to make the most of this positive step, what changes are planned by the Scottish Government to make this service more affordable? Minister. I thank Mr Bibby for his uh, question. I very much welcome the collegiate support he's shown today. In relation to Mr Bibby's question in relation to, to splitting ScotRail and the sleeper, of course, that was a historic decision that, as Mr Bibby alludes to, dates back to 2015. I think the most important thing just now is to provide certainty and clarity. That's what OLR arrangements allow us to do, and I think it's really important for staff involved in this as well that we provide that. In relation to expense, I would uh, broadly agree with the member's assertion. The member will know that, of course, in Scotland, our fares are, on average, about 10 per cent cheaper than in other other parts of the GB network and also of course we'll be removing peak fares again another thing that's been welcomed by our real union partners later this year which I think is really important because we need to facilitate modal change we need to get folk out of their cars and onto public transport the only way we do that is by making public transport more affordable so I think the point the member makes in relation to expense is a fair one it's certainly one I'm keen to work with Caledonian Sleeper as we move forward with the new arrangements.